Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I'm doing tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description. You can see all my information. I'm solving all the leak code. I'm solving all the hackering. I'm solving all these platform problems. People are confused by the algorithm. People are confused by the code that goes into data structures algorithm problem. Um, I'm here to explain it to you. And I'm not like these boring ass other people. I'm going to tell you how to do it. And I'm not going to be like slow and boring. All right, here we go. Find mode in a binary tree. Do you know what a binary tree is? Do you know what a mode is? A tree is a data structure. A data structure stores data. That is part of computer science. If you don't know what a tree is, please go look that up and come back. You're not going to be able to solve this problem if you don't know what a tree is. A tree has multiple types. You could have an binary tree. You could have a binary tree. You could have a binary search tree. We're dealing with a binary search tree here, people. And a mode is of most frequently occurring element. It gives you that definition right here. Most frequently occurring element. Okay, we're looking for the mode in a binary search tree. This should be self-explanatory. We're looking for the element that occurs the most frequently. There are two twos, there is one one. Two twos occurs two times. One one occurs one time. Two is greater than one. We occur. We put two in the output. That is the mode. There could be multiple modes. We know this in fourth grade. Let's look. One, two, three, four, four, five, five, six. In this list, there are two fours and two fives. So what occurs the most in this list? Four or five? Neither. Both of them. Okay, that's what I meant to say. Both of them. Both of them are the modes. So we have to put both of them in our int array and both of them will be outputted. Okay, let's do that and let's figure this out now. This, the only other thing you need to know about a binary search tree is the values on the left of a node are less than it. The values on the right of the node are greater than it. So all this stuff is less than or equal, less than or equal to 20 because we're allowing duplicates here. Less than or equal to 20 on the right greater than or equal to 20 and you can check that for every single node and you'll figure that out that it's fine okay great let's get started okay so the interray is not just expandable we can't just find a new mode and then say oh put this in the interray so they screwed us over here so we actually have to use a list of integers and then convert it into an interray at the end so this list of integers is going to be called modes and this is going to be an array list i'm sorry if i'm yelling at you guys i don't mean to yell at you but i've made this solution four times in a row already and I keep messing up midway through and I'm losing my mind, but that's fine. Okay. So what we're going to do after we find all the modes and we put them into this list of integers is we're just going to make an int array and we're going to call it result and we're going to make it the size of the modes. Cause after we know the size of the modes, that'll be fine. We'll make it and then we'll go through the list that is expandable. We'll go through the modes list. I less than modes dot size. If we can type correctly, Thank you. Thank you. Fingers, do the typing. Thank you. Okay. And then we'll do result of i is equal to modes.get i. Okay. We did it. And then we'll return the result. So what is going on here? This is not important. This is just, this is the list of modes we're going to fill. And then we're just putting it into an int array at the end because the int array is annoying and you can't just expand it as you go. Now we're going to call a helper method. All we have to know is we're passing in the root, we're passing in our list, and the helper method is gonna go off on its own, it's gonna fill up this list, and at the end, the list will get put into this little int array and we return it. So the we don't have to worry, this function's done. We send all this data off, it'll do what it has to do, and we'll return the result. Now this is the method we do have to worry about. This is where the thinking comes in, we actually have to think here, okay. So public void, this ain't returning nothing, this is taking in you know, the int, this is taking in a node for us to start at, and it's taking in the in, the list of modes, and it's going to fill that list of modes. Okay, tree node, node, and it's going to take in a list of integers, modes. There we go. So this is where the stuff comes in. Okay, this is going to be a depth, uh, not, I'm not going to say that, this is going to be an in-order traversal, and, um, you know, this is recursive. This is a recursive traversal. Okay, recursive traversals in tree problems. We're going to say if node is equal to null, we're going to return. Because basically you recurse to a specific node when you recurse. You go to the left, you recurse on the left, you recurse on the left. And when you recurse again on the left or right, it's going to be null. So we want to make sure we don't do anything when it's null. We just return right away. We're done. We're done with that. Okay. Now, what is the idea here? Uh, binary search tree, since it's sorted, we want to find the mode. And in a sorted array, you want to do it in a sorted fashion. So what's a sorted fashion? Uh, do we want to go left, right, and then root? Do we, do we want to compare these nodes and then look at the root and try and find duplicates that way? Do we want to go, uh, you know, root, left, right, 
left, root, right. We want to go left, root, right, because left, root, right, in order traversals are sorted. Left, root, right. You know, we want to go in a sorted fashion instead of an unsorted fashion, obviously, if we want to find the modes, because the modes are going to be the same element, so they're going to be next to each other. So we're going to go in an in order traversal. Okay, hopefully we can, you know, actually do put this solution up this time. Okay, in order traversal is left, root, right. So I'm going to write, you know, traverse down the left, traverse down the right. And what happens with the root is the root is going to be set. Prev is going to be equal to node.val. Prev is going to be equal to node.val. So um, we have to make, basically, how are we going to compare that two things are the same, right? Two nodes are the same. How do we compare that, uh, you know, these nodes are the same, even though they're not? We need one variable to hold on to the last node we've seen, and then we need the current node. The current node is just what we're getting in the input as we as we recurse. But we do need a variable called prev, which we'll set to null. That will be set to a previous node that we saw, right? We also need the count because we need to know how many times it occurs so that we know it's the most frequently occurring one, right? Okay, we'll set it to one because when we first see a node, the count is obviously one. Okay, we also need to set the max to make sure that it is the maximum node frequency right otherwise how do we know it's a mode right so we need a max okay now the logic for understanding the max and the count is pretty straightforward okay if count becomes greater than max then we found a new mode so we'll be incrementing the count when we find duplicates and when we find one that's greater than the max okay we found a new mode so all the other modes are garbage right so all the other modes are garbage uh so what we do is we just say modes dot clear and then we add the current mode modes dot add node dot val okay we found the, the actual mode okay uh what else max becomes count because that's the most occurring element now there is another condition that we have to account for there could be multiple modes right so if the count is equal to max we found two different elements that occur an equal number of times uh so then we'll just add it to the modes there's multiple modes we'll just say modes dot add node dot val okay very straightforward okay now the only other logic that we didn't implement yet is okay we have to compare the previous with the current node okay if prev is not equal to null because it could be null for a while it starts as null so why would we compare null with something that's not going to do anything okay so if prev let's calm down if prev is not equal to null then what do we do well uh we can increment the count if prev is equal to root.val right if prev is equal to node.val or the current node we're looking at well then count plus plus right um so what else i'm not doing this again i'm losing my mind i forgot everything okay Prev is not equal to null then we check that the previous value is equal to the node value uh and we increment the count and um otherwise if it's not, then we set the count to one. Holy crap, I almost forgot. So count becomes one because if they're different in value, like if we see, if we compare 10 and 20, they're different in value. So we're just gonna reset the count because we're we're only gonna be comparing when it's the same nodes, right? So 20, 20, 20, 20, that's four. But if we compare 20 and 25, that's um, not the same. So let's restart the count, right? Obviously we're not gonna keep incrementing the count. This should be the solution, hopefully. We need to pass in the modes list and then i'll walk through it one more time you might be thinking well how does this if it's if it's left root right how is it doing this how is it like comparing these that doesn't make any sense okay worked finally that's the solution so there you go this is a good solution now how does this work you might be thinking okay in order is left root right like let you're doing you're doing left you're going left you're going all the way to the left then you're doing prev is this and then you're comparing these right you're comparing five and ten they're not equal and then how is it comparing these though how's it going ten and ten like the it goes left root right so isn't it comparing these it doesn't compare these because if you look it'll go ten will go it'll come out of that recursive level but it'll go down it'll go down the right so it'll hit the right but when it's on the right the right node instantly goes to the left first so it goes right but then it goes boom before it compares these it compares these so it actually goes boom doesn't compare these that's the very last thing that happens the right in the root getting compared the very last thing 
if there is a left node, so if you go right and there's a left node, it compares these first. Now, when you go right here, there is no left node, so it does compare the right and the root. But you go here, there's a left node, so it compares the these nodes. So that's the whole pattern. It's left and root comparisons, and then it goes to the right. But if there's a left node, it'll compare the root in that left node first, just how the code is written. So you could walk through that code on your own. That is the solution. I'm stopping it there before I mess up at some point. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe so I can help you grow the channel. I'm sorry I was yelling. I did this four, I literally did this four times in a row. It's a 10 minute video. So you could see how that could get, you know, quite annoying. So I will be calm. I will calm down. I will meditate and I will come back as a nicer, better person in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I do these live too if you want to check this out. So, um, you know, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next solution. All right, see you. Peace.